to get over a breakup. Yes, if you want to know how to effectively get over a breakup, then you just came to the right channel. I am back to discuss with you guys how to get over a breakup. Oh, we're going through a breakup right now. I know it is not easy. It is not easy going through a breakup. But luckily for you, you have me. And I have been through countless breakups. And I know what works and what doesn't. So stay tuned to learn more on how to get over a breakup. And for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you guys for coming. Please feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel and press the notification button so you will be alerted on when I create new content. Okay, so the first tip that I would suggest would be to spend some time with yourself, right? Uh, because right after a breakup, right? You may feel like you need to just like rush back out there and talk to everybody under the sun. And what that really is, is it's a huge distraction. Spend time with yourself. Perhaps you have been neglecting yourself. Perhaps you've been giving all of your time and your energy on your ex and you neglected the one person that actually matters the most, and that's yourself. And when you spend time with yourself, truly try to figure out Things that have played out, you know, within your relationship. What were the main themes? Were there any insecurities? Was there any low self-esteem, low self-worth? Like, try to figure out why it ended, how it ended, and everything in between. Like, perhaps, not even perhaps, you know you played a significant part in that relationship whether you know it or not okay um sometimes it's it's easier to point the fingers he did this he did that she did this she did that um but we don't really take the time out to like really sit with ourselves and try to figure out how we contributed to that relationship because you know what one thing i had to learn was that I have all the control, right? So if I experience all of, you know, the negative issues, then you know what? Something is wrong with me, right? Because once again, I chose to put myself in that situation. You know that saying, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, right? So this is why I, encourage people to really sit with yourself and understand the role that you played in that relationship what are your insecurities why did you tolerate crumbs um how did it end why did it end really because once you can understand the role that you played then you can change yourself so that you do not play that same role within the next relationship because until you do that, the next one will be the same thing. And the next one will be the same thing. Because guess what? You are choosing to play that same role. That victim, oh, this happened to me in this relationship. And then it happens again and again. Because with that what? Victim mindset. Guys, come on. I explained this to you in my last video about the mindset thing. Once you guys can identify that, I think, um it will be a little bit easier to get over that breakup, right? Because at the end, you're gonna realize that that relationship was more than likely not, not meant for you, okay? The second suggestion would be to heal, right? Because um, if you don't heal, right, you're gonna take that baggage with you to the next relationship, right? And who needs that? Who needs that? The new partner, it's not his fault that your ex 
did you dirty. It's not her fault that your ex did you dirty, right? Everybody should be given a, a new slate, right? A new opportunity. And so you need to learn how to heal. Heal your wounds, heal your trauma, heal your insecurities. How do you heal? Okay. First thing I would suggest would be to seek a therapist. And let me tell you guys something. There's nothing wrong with seeing a therapist. And I don't know why some people think, oh my God, I have to see a therapist, that means I'm crazy. No, that's not what it means. It means that you are taking responsibility over your life. You figured out that something is wrong and you need professional help. I encourage that. Go to therapy, or if you're not comfortable with therapy, then go speak to your friends, trusted friends, um, that you can lean on for support, or family members. Um, I would even suggest um, finding courses, some self-help courses. There are plenty of self-help courses out there that will uh, teach you how to love yourself, how to heal from your wound, generational traumas. I would even meditate because meditation, right, helps to center yourself, helps to align with your higher self, clear out the noise, and just be with yourself. Okay, so I would highly recommend meditation. Um, exercising, help release the stress, helps you heal your heart. Um, let's see, writing in a, in a journal would help to heal. When you write down your thoughts, you just let them go. Um, reading books, and, uh, massages, a spa day, anything that um, helps you feel better about yourself, you know, and something where you can learn to. Okay, so those are all great tips, I would say, to help heal yourself and heal your heart. And actually, another key point is to always be kind to yourself, right? That is a huge part of healing, at least for me, you know, I learned to just gentle with myself with my heart you know it doesn't matter what happened in your past relationships tell yourself you know you're human i'm human okay and i'm bound to make mistakes but i'm going to learn from them so you know it's okay we're gonna get through this we're gonna make sure we don't go through the same mistakes but be gentle with your heart okay you need to be gentle with your heart because if you're not gentle with your heart who the hell is gonna be gentle with you now, uh, the third tip I would say is to just invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Like I had stated before, maybe, you know, purchase a self-help course. Maybe go back to school, get your degree, or just start your own business, get some certifications. Um, even go into the gym, that's an invest investment in yourself. Getting your body done, yes, that's an investment in yourself because you're pouring your money into your body and you are investing in yourself, perfect. So anything that um, is gonna be beneficial to you, you invest in to yourself. And when you invest in yourself, guess what? You are pouring all of that energy into yourself. And when you do that, you are healing and you're getting over your ex. Perfect. Notice how none of these solutions have anything to do with your ex, right? say one thing that said oh stalk your ex focus on what he's doing focus on what she's doing no it has nothing to do with them because you know what getting over them has to deal with you it has to deal with you actually putting yourself first you actually loving yourself first because if you're so fixated on what your ex is doing who he's talking to who she's talking to where he's going where she at now you're just Spending all this energy on them. And they're probably far gone, far, you know, moved on. They're not thinking about you. And if they are, I don't know. Well, whatever. They're not with you in the first place. So something happened. Focus all of your energy on yourself. Stop worrying about your ex. You know, when you learn to just love yourself, everything aligns. And then next thing you know, you're gonna look and be like, oh shit. Yo, it's been a year. When someone asks you about your ex, you're like, oh, who, who, who that? It's not gonna phase you because you had just put all this energy onto yourself. It doesn't mean that you know you hate them and all love is lost. You can still hold space for them. Me, I will tell you, with all my exes, I have no hate. I have no enemies. Okay. Um, I actually wish all of my exes well, um, and I send them all with love. Right? 
um, because there is no hatred here. My heart is pure. And so I want them to succeed. I want them to do well in life. It doesn't mean I'm gonna, you know, call them every day and, and chit chat and all this stuff. No, from a distance, I can still send them love, you know, which means if I see them in the streets, you know, I can say hello, they can say hi, and then that's it, you know, or even on social media, they say hi, I can say hi. Um, but there is no talking back and forth, long conversations, because that is done, you know. Um, but when you are able to reach that level of maturity, you will go so far in life. When you realize that you don't have to carry around that emotional baggage, that uh, negative energy, hateful energy, because it's not going to do anything for you. It really isn't, you know. Um, they can choose if they want to have that spiteful energy, but it's really going to be detrimental to them. So, uh, guys, this is my advice. This is one of the purest advice I can give you guys from my heart. Really, it's just to love yourself more, uh, center yourself, and raise your vibration. And um, don't hold any negative uh, feelings or energies towards your ex. No matter what they did to you, ask God to heal them, heal their hearts because clearly they are broken. All right. I wish you guys love and light. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. As always, I do appreciate you guys. Please feel free to let me know in the comment sections um, how you have decided to heal yourself over a breakup and if this information was help helpful to you guys. Okay? Talk to you guys soon. Love you.